My name is Rocky Henricus. I'm the pastor at Utica Baptist Church in Utica, Mississippi. This is the preacher's rocking chair. Today we want to talk about hearing God above the noise. Uh, John 8, 47 says, The one who is from God listens to God's words. The Family Circus comic strip once consisted of a large panel uh, showing a, a, a yard filled with children at play. They're blowing trumpets, they're honking horns, they're shouting, they're playing ball, they're swinging, uh, they're flying kites, they're climbing trees, they're running and they're crying. They're, this, the yard is full of kids and they're all doing lots of things and making lots of noise. In addition, there's a dog barking, there's a bird that's singing, a jet is flying overhead. In short, the air is filled with noise. Well, through a cutaway in that, in that large panel, one can see inside the house where the mother says to her husband, listen, that's PJ crying. And sure enough, her little baby PJ is standing in the middle of the yard crying because one of the other children has taken his teddy bear. There's a lot of noise in the world, and you don't need me to tell you that there's a lot of it going on right now. A lot of noise. Economic. Related to the pandemic. Political. Maybe something going on in your life that's just totally unrelated to any of those things, but it's something so personal, and it's causing a lot of noise in your heart. Even when the world outside is quiet, there may still be a lot of noise in our hearts and in our souls. Can we somehow push that noise back far enough to hear the voice of God, the way that mother heard the voice of her little baby? It sometimes takes a lot more effort than it does at other times. We're busy. We are easily distracted. We got a lot of cares and concerns going on in our world right now. Sometimes we're under a lot of stress and a lot of pressure to meet the expectations of other people. Some days we're just physically exhausted. The kids have needs. The boss has demands. Life is chaotic. The key appears to be learning to filter out the din of living long enough to hear the gentle voice of our God encouraging and lifting and soothing and challenging and loving. We do that by staying close to His heart and listening carefully. When we do hear God above the noise and the distractions, we'll find there's no other sound quite like it. Hmm. Remember John eight forty seven. The one who is from God listens to God's words. Today, will you join me in praying, Lord, I want to hear you the way PJ's mother heard him, being sensitive to your gentle voice calling to my spirit. Be encouraged.